Oshio Junari'i. Dohichu. My name is Lee Lewis, or pronounced in Cherokee, Lee Lu Yi. For several years now, I have been trying to do my part in keeping my ancestral language of Jalagi alive and well. I don't pretend to be fluent by any means, but after years of study, I have developed some modest abilities in the language which was my father's first tongue. For some time now, I've been creating my Word of the Day graphics and sharing them with those who, like me, wish to learn and keep Jalagi a living language. This video I am making is not so much about the language itself, but it shows some of the behind-the-scenes work that I do to create these graphics. I'm having some fun with a powerful new computer and some amazing new software. I'm trying to find new uses for that software combined with my abilities, and I'm having a lot of fun doing so. I hope you enjoy the following short demonstration video in which I create a new word of the day graphic in Cherokee. The word for August 14th, 2011 was muskrat. I will be making a graphic based on that word. So, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off from my desktop, and then we're going to open up Paint Shop Pro version 8.0, which is my paint program of choice. And I've already uh, captured an image of a muskrat and saved it aside, and I've made the background transparent on it so that I can use that as a image set up without the background. I'm pasting that muskrat image into a new file. We're going to get that position appropriately. And there we go. Next, I want to look at my possible fills for the text. And I have several possible swatches set aside here. And I have five of them actually. One here is the uh, Indian corn background. This one is a bunch of books. And then we have one which is like a medicine wheel. I'm having a little difficulty because it's kind of small, so I have to enlarge that a little bit. And this one is possum hair. And this one is a, a kind of generic a Northwestern Native American style font. Uh, not font, but uh, graphic. Now, I'm getting rid of the possum hair. I decided to omit that. The uh, Native American graphic I got rid of and the corn graphic, and I decided to go with the medicine wheel. So we're going to save that one aside. Now, I need to go in and, and choose that for my fill. And, and I have a little difficulty finding it here. It's the second one down on the left, but I missed it because it's kind of small. And there I found it. And we're going to increase the scale on that so that it is a little larger and easier to see. Now then, I'm going to move over to the Chulehi Sanahi program. And over on the left-hand side, you will see where it's written in Roman. On the right-hand side, it has translated into the Jalaki, in, into the uh, syllabary. Now, I'm going to copy the syllabary characters here. Go back to my paint program and choose my text tool and paste this uh, the word in. in and this should be pasted in with a black outline and the medicine wheel uh, swatch that I'm using for the fill on that there we go I'm going to paste that in there let's get that positioned appropriately and then we'll add a little beveling to give it a little textured effect to give it more a three-dimensional look. And then I'm going to add some drop shadow to uh, enhance that three-dimensional look a little bit. A little bit of adjustments here. We're going to drop the uh, blur down to 20 and increase the opacity to 75. And uh, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to paste the word in again, but I'm going to go down and change the font to a homemade font that I made, which is called Olchalagi, which is the old script that was written by a Sequoia before the modern script which is used today. A little bit uncontroversial, but we won't get into that now. And in my version of this font, homemade as it is, uh, it lacks a little bit in the finesse of kerning, and so I am going in and manually adjusting this by moving some of the characters in a little closer together to make them look a little bit more professional. I'm working on in, in improving 
this, but it's very difficult. I hope to commit Unicode font of this in time, but it's going to take a lot of study and a lot of work, and we're still working on that. So I'm repositioning this to get it nice and centered. And there we go. I think everything is looking about right there for the Cherokee word. Now that I need to put the word in English down at the bottom, and so I'm going to paste in the word muskrat, and then I need to find a font that looks decent for this. So let's pick a font now, paste in the word, and it, I've got my text box on top, so let's move that out of the way, and this does not look good. You can't really read the word muskrat very well. So, and this one is even worse, so we don't want that one. This is kind of just an artistic thing. It's just trial and error. Don't like that one either. And I, frankly, I don't really care for this one, but it's legible and I want to move along. So let's go ahead and use this as a font. Let me reposition the word muskrat a little higher so that it is above the tip of the tail of the muskrat that will save us some file space so we aren't using extra space in there. Next I need to get the word in in the Roman text so that you know how to pronounce it, the phonetics. And we go with that word. We're going to copy this out of the Chulehi Sanuhi program and with the hyphens and everything because I usually put this in with hyphens for people to help them out knowing the different uh, the separation of the syllables. And we're going to paste that in and I put quotation marks around it. I usually remove the bowl facing and change it to italics. I drop down to 20 points. And I think we just about have that done. Alright, it's pasted in there. Let's position it just a little bit just to get it nice and centered and shrink down a little bit. Now I'm going to copy all of this and paste it into a new image so that I can get rid of all the extra uh, surrounding space which is unnecessary. Then I will flatten the image to get rid of the transparency so it'll work as a JPEG file. And there we go. We have a graphic image. And this is how I do it. And I'm glad you could join me and see how I uh, prepare these. This has been fun for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. My name again is Ali Lu Yi.